look briefly at what's on the left hand side of the book. Okay? What we've been focusing on is if you know an angle over here and something, anything about the sides, you can find out other sides like this. Okay? Now, if therefore you can know angles and get sides, it stands to reason that if you know sides, you can get angles. Does that kind of make sense? It's like the number of people in the room tells me how many fingers are in the room. I just multiply by 10. Well, if I know how many fingers in the room, it stands to reason, you get the idea, okay? So essentially what I'm doing is what you've just been looking at, but from a different perspective. I'm going in reverse, okay? So look at this with me. You don't need to write it down and draw it. It will stay up, I won't rub it off, I promise. I want you to think about this triangle and the process I'm about to go through and think about how similar it is to this process you just tried to find sides and stand angles. So here we go. I know these two sides. I could, because it's a right angle triangle, if I wanted to, I could find out what this third side is. How would I do that if I wanted to? Right angle, right? I would use Pythagoras. I'd go like square this, square that, and that's fine. But I don't even need to know that, okay? All the information I need is already on the diagram. Here's what I'm going to do. Step one, I want to identify sides, these sides, in relation to the angle I've got. Now, just as a side note, again, you don't have to write this down. I'll see if you'll have it there later. This is a Greek letter, theta. Um, by convention, we use Greek letters for a lot of our angles. So you'll see the other ones that are common, uh, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. You guys have already seen pi before. There's a few other ones, okay. Theta is the most common one by far. Okay, so when you think about this being where you are, step one, Emily, thank you. Think about the sides you've got in relation to that angle, okay? Now, boringly, we've seen the same pair of sides many, many times. If you stand over here, firstly, which is this one, it's the easiest one to identify, has to be the hard part news because. Right. It's opposite the right angle. Thumbs up. You look at this other one and it's all the way on the opposite side of the triangle, right? So, having identified the sides in relation to the angle, I then identify the ratio that relates those sides. Opposite and hypotenuse. It's sine. Very good. So, I'm going to now write and solve an equation, okay? Sine, but this time, I don't know what the angle is. I can't say 26 degrees or 30 degrees or whatever. I'll just write down what it is for a second. It's equal to opposite on hypotenuse. 3 over 4. Now I asked you to put your pens out of your hands, but I now want you to pick up your calculator. Okay. What we want to do here is we want to get that theta out from inside the sine. Okay? So your calculator has a handy way of undoing this, of reversing the sine process. Okay? If you press shift, and then sine, right? You're going to see this. This is what appears on your display, okay? Now, again, don't write this down. I'll write it there for you now so that when you come back to this, after you finish the previous exercise, you can remember it. This is called sine inverse. That's a fancy mathematical way of saying whatever process you apply, can you undo that? That's what inverse means, okay? Please, please, please don't read it as sine minus one. It's not actually sine, that's something else completely. Read it as sine inverse, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, having pressed that button, what I wanna apply sine inverse to is this three quarters over here. So when you go to your calculator, and you, you can punch this in now with me. If you put in three divided by four, and don't forget to close the bracket, I think you have to do that. You press equals, okay? And here's the number I get. Okay? So a pretty standard thing is to just get that to the nearest degree. So if I approximate that, can you tell me what to do? 40, 49. So you can see just like I went from angles to sides, I can go from sides to angles in exactly the same way that I did before because it's the same process. You're just looking at it from the other angle, okay? Angle, anyway. Um, last note. Sense check, right? I asked you to do a sense check over here and you said, yep, thumbs up. This is a bit trickier to do because we have less of an idea of estimating angles. But what do you think? Does that seem reasonable to you? Yeah? Yeah? Yes. 
Yeah. Pretty close. I want you to think about this, for example. Um, a triangle that's really easy to do, knowing that there's a right angle, right angle over there. Um, 49 degrees is pretty close to 45 degrees, right? Now, if that's 45, because of the angle sum of the triangle, the final angle must also be 45. Okay. Now, if it were two equal angles, you're going to get two equal sides over here. And if you use Pythagoras on this, I think you'll find that this is about 4.2-ish, something like that, okay? Which looks like I'm in the right ballpark, right? Does that make sense? Now, you don't have to do this, you don't have to draw this. I just want to convince you, like, yes, this is a reasonable answer. I'm in the realm of possibility, okay? Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Um, sorry, what, you know, in your calculator, when it, it's 48 degrees, 35, blah, blah. Like, yep. what does this second number have to be over for it to go to 49? Sorry, so I've, re I've just pressed equals and I'm getting this. Have you pressed the degrees, minutes, seconds button? Is that what you've yeah, done? Yeah. Okay, sure. I, I wasn't going to address this now, but I can since you've asked the question. I just lost the number, so I'm going to do it again. Um, and maybe you want to follow what's going on. If you've got that number in your display, this is something as a skill I'll look at later. It's not such a, a big deal right now. If you press that degrees, minutes, seconds button, it'll tell you this. Where's the button? That's the it is above oh, the... It is. Um, <laughs> It's above E and G, whatever yeah. that means. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to think about if you want to think about rounding these. Okay. Degrees, minutes, seconds. This is degrees. This is minutes. This is seconds. Can someone tell me how many seconds there are in a minute? Sixty. Sixty. Can someone tell me how many minutes there are in an hour? Also sixty, and it's the same division, right? So this is thirty-five out of sixty. This is 25.36 out of 60, okay? So if I had it in this form, I'd say, well, that's going up, okay? But it was just as easy just to stay back over here. You see this? That, that, that's obviously, okay, I know that's going up. That's all I need to say, okay? okay.